Hey guys, today I'm doing another one of these topical vlog type things, although I'm not actually on camera, so is it even a vlog? But anyway, I'm talking about the uh, interesting subject of nothing, and basically how much nothing there is, because I came across this interesting site called uh, joshworth.com, and they have a pa uh, page that is a scale model, uh, well, a scale map of the solar system, where the moon is one pixel, and you can literally scroll through it from the sun, to Mercury, to Venus, to Earth, and so on and so forth. And it's pretty mind-blowing how much nothing there is, because we always... Well, well, whenever we're shown a map of the solar system, it's obviously really condensed, and all the planets are quite big, so you can actually see them. And we see that and think, oh, yeah, well, that's obviously not to scale, and we're told that and things. And we get given these analogies like, uh, well, if the sun was really the size it was on this this picture, then the Pluto would be a mile away. And we're like, oh, cool, that's a big solar system. That means nothing, because I can't really picture that. Because if you're picturing, like, a tiny Pluto-sized object a mile away from this, like, little tiny sun, it doesn't mean anything. But this is a really good representation, because it lets you literally scroll through the solar system. And there are some buttons up top that allow you to... Uh, well, make it a little more easy by going from bit to bit. And it has lots of interesting text which tells you, well, it tells you what to, tells you stuff about the solar system and about nothing, interestingly. And one of the most mind-blowing things is the percentage of things in the universe. Um, and the percentage of stuff that isn't empty space is actually 0. 0.0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Um, they were hold, held apart by like neutron degeneracy pressure, which means they're as close as they can possibly be. It would be about the size of a sugar cube, which is just mind-blowingly tiny. So yeah, there is so little stuff in the universe, but we still managed to send things from Earth to Pluto, one of the tiniest little things we kind of call a bit of a planet in our solar system, and we still managed to bullseye it over billions of miles and through just so little stuff. And, like, you expect that, say, uh, something like that traveling through the asteroid belt, what if it hits an asteroid? That is just a really small possibility because there's so many asteroids, but compared to the amount of space in the asteroids, there is just very little stuff. If you were standing on an asteroid, it's not like Elite Dangerous or Star Citizen. You wouldn't be able to see the asteroids any other asteroids, you would just be standing on an asteroid and you would think you were alone in the universe, which is pretty crazy. Obviously, we first discovered planets because they reflect light quite well, but if they weren't so reflective, like some of the dark planets, like some of the rogue planets, which don't actually follow stars, we wouldn't be able to see them at all. And we would just expect that we are alone other than the stars, I guess, which Brian, bright, shinely, uh, bright, really shinely. Bright, really shinely? Shine really brightly. Good job, me. Yeah, it was just kind of awe-inspiring just scrolling through this page just seeing so little stuff and the distance from like Mars to Jupiter is really gigantic and to Pluto is insane so I will link you the website so you can go and have your mind blown and yeah so if you're ever feeling insignificant in the universe and think that you're not like a rare crazy little specimen of stuff just remember that you're part of the tiniest group of stuff in the universe because almost all of it is nothing and you are something so that's my philosophical bit of this vlog and yeah although obviously there's the uh, idea that nothing, there's no such actual thing as empty space because there's lots of radiation and lo I've forgotten all the names of the stuff I'm sorry I didn't actually research this bit uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's, you know, there's like lots of quantum stuff in uh, empty space, which means it's not technically empty, but um, that's not much solace when you're drifting on your spaceship looking for something and you can't find anything except weird quantum radiation, which means nothing to you. So yeah, that's a pretty mind-blowing and feel special in the universe. I'll see you next time.